Okay, welcome back. We've let our sun deck uh, with the fiberglass layer dry for or cure for about two hours. Now it is a green stage at the edge, a little past that perhaps. And what we're going to do is we're going to just trim off the edge. Now's a great time to do it. And then we're going to go over it with sandpaper, sand off the uh, fringe here and blend it into the flashing. We're going to go over top of the surface here, pick up any rough spots, and going over with a gloved hand is actually great because it picks up the glove, uh, sorry, the rough spots and also just kind of protects your hand while you're doing it. Um, the deck here is pretty good, but just a little quick scuff sand, anything really sticking up, we'll just knock it down and then we'll mix up our gel coat apply that and that's our final layer then we'll be done so i will get out the knife and i'll start trimming why don't i get back here so you can now i am trimming you know pulling the knife away because it's tough to tell for sure whether there's going to be any issue with it pulling away from the deck you know that's the one thing with cutting fiberglass when it's at the green stage is if you do it too early if you're wrong pick the wrong time then it could lift off of the sun deck and you know you don't want that that might be an area you'd have to grind down and redo so i'm kind of have pulling back with a motion that pushes down against the sun deck for the important part of the cut. Now, it looks like we've picked a great time here. It's, it's working fine. Um, so I'm just going to continue on here. You know, there's, there's, not, there's not that much to get on the front, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to move along to this edge. Okay. And like, you know, on some spots, we didn't really get that much resin out into these fibers, so they're not really going to cut because they're really just dry fibers. They just bend away from the knife. So what I'm going to do now is take the sandpaper, just fold it over. I'm using slightly less than when I was um, sanding the filler. I'm using an 80 grit here. And I'm just going to go over the edge. and sand kind of in a downward motion. and basically blend that edge in. It's probably a little green at this point. I'm going to try and continue. Um, it'd be nice if it was a little more dry. I'm just gonna grab the knife. Do a bit more trimming with it. Okay, and that'll work fine for what we're doing. Just do it along the front here. 
Just getting any loose fibers off again, because we don't want those in our gel coat layer. They can come up as sharp spots. And I'll just go along the surface here, cover everything, just a real quick once over so that uh, there's no high spots. Any little bits of dust, pieces you've sanded off from the edge, you also want to make sure those are swept off. Now, of course, because this is unwaxed resin, it's still a little bit tacky, not bad. I mean, it's going to make sanding a little more difficult than it would otherwise be. That's okay. Because the unwaxed resin helps the gel coat and all your layers here stick together, it's worth the hassle. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and mix our gel coat. <laughs> 